Let's have a look. The next question deals with proof. Now, if you prove a theorem, folks, just, just bear with me for a minute. This is the part of the paper where you can score marks. But don't go and study proofs like a parrot because we can change that diagram around a little bit and then you're going to fall off the wagon and you're going to forget how to prove what we're asking you to prove. But the fact that the proofs are important, you can't get away from. So I want you to try and understand with me why these relationships that we're going to use to prove this particular theorem with are in place and how I use that relationships, those relationships. Okay, let's have a look. It says, in the diagram, we have the center O given. Now, notice that there's no line going to O over here. Okay, but it's still the center of the circle. We can't really do anything with it yet. The points S, T, and R lie on the circle. There's S, there's T, and there's R. They are three points that lie on the circle. Okay, the chords S, T, S, R, and T, R. Now, by naming that a chord, they're telling you it's not something that looks like that. Okay, they're telling you it is a line segment that runs from the one side of the circle to the other side of the circle. So, it makes contact. It is straight. It's a line. A chord is a line inside a circle. Don't forget that. Okay, and there's quite a few theorems that deal with chords. Okay, now they say, uh, yeah, I'll draw to the circle. QS is a tangent to the circle at S. So here comes a tangent, so that's definitely given a tangent, and it joins the circle at point S. Now they're going to ask us to prove most probably, and I'm going to actually do the proof underneath this diagram because I want to come back to this diagram all the time. So they are asking us to prove that the angle QST, QST, that angle there, this one over here, is equal to R. That angle over there. Now, a lot of you will know, most of you will know that this is indeed a fact. That's a tangent and this is the tan court theorem. Okay, they're asking you to prove it for five marks. So let's start. Let's see what we can do. There's one of two things that we can. Okay, we can construct a diameter. So let's construct the diameter that goes through O and reaches the circle over there. So that will be our first thing, will be a construction. We're going to construct diameter, let's call it SOP, let's name that P. Construct diameter SOP. Now we've got a choice to make. We've got the diameter, we've got the tangent down here, and we know, because we know our theorems, that the tangent is perpendicular to the diameter. We know that's a fact. So we formed a right angle. Let's fill that in before we forget it. Over here, we formed a right angle. So if I call this point S1 and S2 for now, okay, I've got to make a choice. There's a diameter that I can either take to point T or I can take it to point R. But depending on which point I take it to, my proof is going to be slightly different. Not hugely different, just a little bit. Okay, so let's choose to take that to T. And I'm going to deliberately do it in blue. And then we join P, T. Now, just for convenience sake, I'm going to label this a 1 and that a 2. 
Okay, now we can start our proof. Our proof from this construction, angle S1 plus angle S2 is 90 degrees. And the reason is the radius or the diameter in this case, if you want to, the diameter is perpendicular to the tangent at this point S. Okay, but what else do we know? We also know that angle T1 and T2, angle T1 plus angle T2 is also 90 degrees. That's the angle in a semi-circle. Okay, now folks, what do we want to do? We want to join this angle with the angle at um, S1 over here. So we've got 90 degree angles there, we've got 90 degree angles on the other side. Okay, so if I had joined P and R, let me do that in a dotted line, then this would have been the right angle that was formed on the circumference. Both of those are right angles. Okay, so I will start arguing my case that S1 plus S2 are equal to um, 90 degrees. I can start with R1 and R2 over there instead of T1 and T2, and those are 90 degrees as well. Okay, now remember folks, they asked me to connect these two angles over here. So I'm busy with T1 and T2, so I'm going to continue with that, and I'm going to say, therefore, angle S2 over here plus the angle P1 up there is 90 degrees. And that will be because they're complementary angles. They add up to 90 because this was 90. And then the simple, but P1 is equal to R2. Why is that the case? Well, if you look carefully, they both subtended by TS. So they are angles in the same segment. Okay, and with that then I can finally conclude that S1 is definitely equal to R2, which is what I wanted. Now folks, on the other side, you would have done exactly the same. If you were working with these two questions, you would have argued these two angles, and those two are perpendicular, and then whichever angle you needed to prove is equal to the angle between the tangent and the chord is the one you will use. So please make that choice wisely. Connect to the angle where you are trying to get to. That will help you um, to prove this question for the five marks that they offered.